you reading a new comic? Hey, I've been I've been staying up on the X Men thing since Hickman took over, which you know me and Kai's uh, we we spoke on this years ago, and now we back at it again. And we yeah. liked how Hickman started, and then it got House of X, Power of X was cold as hell, and then it got. Eh. <laughs> it got His real. tires went flat. Fred it, Sanford. It got yeah. It got it got a little flat. Then the Hellfire Gala had some moments, but the biggest thing to spin out of the Hellfire Gala was the new team. And with the new team came a new writer. Uh, Gary Dugan came on to the book, Whoop. and it has taken off. It's it's like it's it's back to it feels like the X Men again. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it, who's the team? Uh, so it's Cyclops, mm. Marvel Girl. Mm. Um, X-23, but as Wolverine, mm, she had that official well, title. What else was she? Uh, Rogue. Okay. Uh, Sync. Okay. And, uh, and they, they, and Polaris. Oh, okay. And okay. Polaris. Okay. So they, nice. they, okay. they cover the full gamut. And, uh, my personal opinion, it's kind of unfair to have two people who can mimic everybody's powers. Because Sync and Rogue can almost do the same thing. True. But Sink can just do it at will. She do it. At will. Yeah. And Rogue got to go through a process. Rogue goes through a process. And she don't necessarily she like to do it. That's why she has yeah. to touch someone. She has to touch someone. Yeah. Yeah. But she take memories and all that. Yeah, but not anymore. Oh, no? Oh, no, that's don't? fixed. Well, how did they oh, fix oh, really? that? Yeah, that's, that's fixed. That that, that's anymore. done. How? That's done. Oh, it went. See, during all of these things that Hickman was doing, you know, they, they got rid of. She a clone, right? Well, you know, they're, they've all they're died all and come back. Yeah. They're all, they've all died and, and so they reclone. So they fixed them scientifically. Yeah, they, yeah they, so yeah, she doesn't I have, can see that. Well, that's good, but that's also her, that's, oh, that's her real Sinister. weakness, though. That's like Mr. Sinister so, doing right, they, the taken. They've taken that away. Damn, so no weakness for her now. She no, can do not, it and do it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, she can. She has a limit to the amount of power she can, like, like she, I think it's like a four-person limit that she can, like, handle before she, before it starts tipping. Like, she can only take a percentage of certain people's powers. Yeah, like, she could take four different abilities at once, but that was, that's, like, max before she started losing herself. They should give her the Dark Phoenix. What? She, well, man, hell no. They should push her to the Wait. Dark Phoenix. But it's the the book has been really good. They brought uh, they brought yeah, Ben. They brought uh, they brought one of the uh, a daredevil reporter Ben Urich over Pepe to the Lewis. That's Pepe Lewis. Pepe that's Lewis. the artist. Yeah, that's the artist. That's yeah, the that's, illustrator. That's, fly. Wow. Cold. Oh. that's why I got all them House of Texas because this, this yeah. dude. Oh well, speaking of that, in um, January, did y'all hear about Wolverine, the X Lives and X Deaths? It's yeah. a trailer for it. Yeah, it's based on the powers of X and House of X. Yeah. And it pretty much showed the whole timeline of Wolverine in the in the lacing throughout history. Wow. It, it got it got him in the in the um Weapon X um gear. It got him like as a soldier. So they, 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 they through go through all of that? They go yeah. through his whole it, it comes out January. Yeah, January twenty twenty two. That's oh, interesting. Wow. What is it called? Wolf, Wolverine X X Deaths and X Lives. Yeah, X Deaths and X Lives. No, X Lives and X Deaths is okay. of Wolverine. That's yeah. what, that's what's coming out. Okay. Be yep. on the lookout for that, too. It's a dope trailer, though. I'm going to check that out. It's kind yeah. Of, yeah. And I highly recommend checking it out. I think the first trade paperback for the uh, the first graphic novel for the new run is out. So you can read all of the first five in one sitting. Nice. Right. That's how I prefer it. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a good read. And Saga is almost ready, too. Maybe. They said the issue coming out in January. Yeah, I believe it when I, I believe when I see it. Why? I believe it when I see it. Because that book went on hiatus and was supposed to come back from hiatus a few times before. And and so far it has not. So. But did they, they never gave did, like the date and with like the promo they got right now. Yeah, it's true. The promo is new. But I still went. I still is it like that? Um, who's the artist for, uh, what was the Doomsday Clock? Oh, uh, Gary Frank? Yeah. He was perpetually late. <laughs> like, late. He was perpetually wow. late. I draw you from a comic book a little bit. Yeah. Like, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. You straight, I'm straight. Remender and who who is this? For Saga, who is the um the illustrator? Uh Fiona Staples. Yeah. One I think both of them got burnt out at the same time, right? Yeah. That's basically what they said. Like they had been doing it like on a schedule that was so rigorous for like it was like years. Mm. And they just said like enough is enough. They wanted to go do some other projects, take a mm. breather, like refresh their creativity. Mm. Cause I, you know, when you're doing yeah, you the same out. shit, like it's hard to tell a story like that and run out of shit. Then you kind of get, you lose your inspiration. Especially mm. if you're not trying to make it finite. They want Saga to continue. And they wanted to end and, it. And and they, and they they wanted to end on their terms, but they don't have an ending in sight yet from uh, yeah. from the, 
from some of the endings, that's, from some of the uh, interviews I've read. So yeah, that's an X Lives X Death. So is it a motion that's, comic, or is that just the way to add that's it? That's just the way they that's advertise. Just, that's just the way they advertise. Yeah, okay. you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a book, but yeah, cool. that, that's a dope trailer. Yeah. What else is on the horizon for any comics or whatnot? Uh, it's a, it's a lot of. Uh, I read the the I, I read the new Hulk book and it, a, it? Immortal Immortal Hulk ended and uh, and a new Hulk book has come out and I'm kind of I'm vexed on it because there's they just don't address any of the things that happened in Immortal Hulk. They, 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 they ignore it? They just ignore it. Like he was. But I heard that book got canceled for a particular reason. Well, it didn't get canceled. They wanted the artist off the book, but the book had an end in sight anyway. Like the, the, the guy had a definitive story to tell. Um, Al Ewing, the writer, had a story that he, he Wait, said. Wait, he put some in the illustration. Yeah, one of the, the artists, Joe Bennett, put some uh, very controversial uh, anti Semitic things in his art. Uh, he, in the he, art? he snuck it in. He, he snuck wow. it in, and, oh. and someone pointed out. And Marvel did a recall of the books, and then and went and read. You know, he's a fool of a two. And then put him and then put the book back out. What's up with this orange Hulk? Uh, I mean, that's from a, a a way off Age of Apocalypse story. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy. Okay. I wouldn't. So, yeah. did you all talk about the Luke Cage cancellation? Uh, we did not. Yeah. About oh, the how book. He, he's gonna deal with um, corrupt cops and everything. Yeah, the artist like posted up the artwork and everything. It was supposed to be a, a murder by a cop. Luke Cage was um, investigating the whole nine, and then it was gonna go into police corruption, contemporary, um, up to date racial and social issues in in the country, and they got pulled. Like Marvel, like pulled the plug. Why do you think they wow. pulled it? What's the story? The story is. Yeah, they, he didn't get an answer. It was ready to go. Oh, so they don't know why it got pulled. No. Okay. okay. Wow. I mean, it, it could be several. It could be several factors. It could be political. It could be pre-orders were low, because pre, pre order low pre-orders can kill any book no finished or not. What no matter what. So, if, so it could be a number thing. It could be a num- politics. It could be I mean, a numbers or it could be, be politics. Because I've oh. seen, I've seen as as being like someone who dealt with solicitations. Uh, when I had the shop, there would be things by heavyweight creators that had that had no political thing, nothing in it, and he would be like, "Oh, dope! This new Grant Morrison book. Check it out! Check it out!" And then, no, no pre-orders low. That's that. It's pulled. Okay. Book wow. gets canceled. So that's not uncommon for comics. So it, until until an announcement is made, you know, it could be politics, it could be numbers. We don't know. Speaking of, pass me that book right there. I want to I want to talk crazy. about this book. So for those who don't know this book right here, or may not be familiar that this came out. What's that? In the 80s, there was this little sly flick, slick film called Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. Okay. One of the, it's just one of those campy, classic 80s sci-fi morsels of, of, of goodness that came out around that era when things were weird. Um, Peter Weller from RoboCop stars in it as Buckaroo Banzai. It's got a bunch of other crazy characters in it. Um, Buck Rubanzai is like based on a pulp um, character that you know preceded it, um, had other books. But this movie, when it ended, like other movies of that era, had this statement that said Buck Rubanzai will return versus um, the World Crime Syndicate. So everybody expected a sequel to this movie to happen. Um, of course, it didn't happen. And for those who don't make, the, the one thing that most people remember about this movie is the big booty, big bootay commentary. Because every there's these aliens in it, the um, Lectroids from Planet 10, and when they came to Earth, um, they named, all of their names were, um, what was it, John, and then their last name would be something else. So it would be John something, and, and so this particular character, um, his last name was, it's spelled Big Booty, but every time somebody would say, hey, John, Big Booty, or they would call him Big Booty, he'd go, it's Big Bootay, <laughs> Big Bootay. So that's like one of the highlights. But anyway, sequel never happened. They finally came out with the, the same story that was supposed to be um, put into the film format, and they released it as a novel, and it's a thick, a thick, thick, thick book. This is a great book. To, um, I can't wait to dig into this because I was always a big fan of Buckaroo Banzai. When did it come out? Came out about a couple of weeks ago, so roughly like maybe like seven, eight, nine days ago. I got it. I got cool. it like around that time. Cool. So this is like brand spanking new. The only people who read really fast have completed it, you know. But yeah, I'm you gonna like dig Johnny into Five this. In that bitch. 
Hey, I'm about to be on it. Like, yes. <laughs> more input. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Cool. Yeah, you got to let us know how it uh, turns out when you get to the end, man. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> this was like the Big Trouble in Little China comic sequel to the movies. Oh, okay. When they did that, which that sequel was also, the comic series was really good. I liked it. Um, yeah, I read the first few issues of that. I like yeah. it. Nice. I'm fucking with your shirt, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It's Huey. Yeah. Huey, Huey, Huey ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Public Enemy number two. Yeah, Enemy so good. And what happened to um, the rebooted Bulldogs? Oh, nobody good knows. Question. Nobody yeah, knows. Just kind of, they, people just kind of, or not people, but it seemed like they just kind of stopped talking about it, like the production. Yeah. And I mean, after um, Witherspoon died. Yeah. You know, once yeah, I think that took some of the wind from the yeah, sales. Grandpa. Yeah. Because yeah. he was the voice and he was the personality. Right. That's right. true. And I don't know. I mean, if, they have nowhere to coordinate. Right. <laughs> oh. oh. But a boom. 